Welcome to the R video tutorial on reading in data into R. Today we are going to learn how to read in files from SPSS which are denoted by SAV. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody's free to use it. Okay, let's get started. So here I've got my header in here so that we understand what we're going to work on. We're going to be reading in uh, SPSS files, which are SAV files. So the first thing we need to do is install the package that allows us to read in uh, SAV packages uh, or SPSS packages. And the one we're going to use is foreign, is the name of it. And to do that, we're going to type in install. And you'll see install packages pop up. And we're going to type in the name of the file that we want, or not the file, but the uh, package we want and foreign is the name of it and we will run it and apparently I typed it wrong oh wait no I didn't type it wrong you have to actually put it in quotes okay now try it and we see that it's doing something now I purposely didn't put it in quotes the first time so that you could see what happens when you don't because some places you put it in quotes and some places you don't so you can see that it gives me down here in the console shows me that it downloaded it uh, it's 310 kilobytes and where it stored it now just because you've downloaded it uh, doesn't mean that you can actually use it so to load the package we are going to use the library statement. So we're going to use library. And notice it immediately pops up with all the uh, packages that I have on my machine and will be different than what's on your machine, uh, depending on which ones you've loaded. But I'm going to click on foreign, or you could type it, obviously. And this will make those functions available for me to use. So then I would run this. And it says, note that foreign was built under uh, R version 3.4.1, which is slightly newer than the 3.3 whatever one I have here at the moment. But it should work uh, just fine, so don't worry about the warning message unless you're using something like really, really old, like version 2 or version 1, uh, or even version 0 point something. All right, so now that I have this, I can read in a file. So let's read in an SAV file. And there's two ways to do this, like we've learned before. So I'm, we're going to use, this one's going to be on disease, if I can type it correctly. And I'm going to do read dot. And then if you notice, there's a whole bunch more in my list here. Uh, and I can read octave files in. I can read all kinds of things. Uh, the one I'm interested in is SPSS, okay? So I'm going to read in SPSS, and the file that I'm going to use is I'm going to first do the file.choose, uh, just so we're consistent. And um, the one thing that we need to do is make sure that it goes to a data frame. Uh, and, and that's the key, because if I just read it in, it may or may not send it to the data frame. So we need to actually read the help on this. So if we're interested in the help, we can come down here to the console and we can type in read.spss and it will bring it up over here in our window down here. We can pop it out if we want and we can see all of the options we have. Now, the big thing that we're interested in is this to data frame equals false. We want it to actually go to a data frame. So we're going to say to dot data frame uh, equals true. So uh, let's uh, try to do this. So we'll do um, in our code here to dot data frame equals in our case true. Uh, that's what we want it to work with when we're in our because data frames are the easiest thing to work with uh, by most people's opinion. All right, so let's give this a go. Uh, my file happens to be on the desktop, and it's called disease. You can download this from the repository that's in the link below. Um, there's a, a directory that I have all of this in. And it's uh, read in the data, and it's over here. So I can just click on it, and I can see subject, age, sector, disease, account. So I have all of this information. 
uh, that's available to me now that I've read it in. It's pretty easy. The key is this two dot data frame equals true. Once it's in a data frame, it's easy to use. Um, you can also read it in using the path. And I'm going to do, be consistent with this because it actually has the file name in it. And usually when I'm programming for myself, uh, I actually put the path approach so that I'm always aware of which data set that I read in because often you'll get multiple ones around. So here, the twiddle uh, takes me to my user or my home directory on a Mac or a Linux machine. Otherwise, if you're on a Windows machine, you have to do C, colon, slash, all of that stuff, and then get to your directory. Here it's on the desktop, and if I type tab, it'll pop it up, and then I can just pick it up. So remember, you just type tab, and it will start popping these up. Again, I'm going to have the same uh, statement here, to data frame equals true. And this should read it in again. So here we go run it and we have data uh, frame of disease 2 and all of the information is here so this is actually pretty easy to do um, you just have to learn to first this is the first time we've installed a package foreign and then once you have it installed then you just use the library statement to actually make those functions available note that once you've loaded a package or installed a package you don't need to install it again However, you have to load the package using the library statement every time you open up a new instance of R. So if you close R and then you open it back up, the library is not going to be enabled. Uh, so just keep that in mind, and you'll need the library statement somewhere up at the top of your code. All right, so hopefully this has gotten you the ability to read in some data, different data files, and you should move on to the next video.